Good morning again to everyone. We would like to welcome the members of the Rotary Club, President Miss Natasha St. Jews, Just, Past President Mr. Chad Allen, Director Miss Denise Allen, and Past President Carol Phillips, to Her Majesty Prison to donate some books to these handsome gentlemen, and the Rotary District Governor Miss Dominique Vernier. <laughs> Ms. Dominique Vinier, welcome to Her Majesty Prison. It's a French name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and oh, thanks for having us here. Okay, we are here from the Rotary Club of La Amiga, and uh, just brief, brief, Rotary, I don't know if you've heard that term before, but it's an international organization. Um, you can find that organization all over the world. We have 1.2 million persons, and uh, our structure, our aim is to assist uh, our communities uh, in uh, many six areas of service we have. Um, one of them is uh, literacy or education, and that's the main one we're here today. We also have other areas such as peace and uh, sanity, water, so we assist persons all over the world in terms of food, hunger, humanitarian services. And so today we are here because for Rotary, this month is our literacy month, that's one. And so we're here to present you with some books, um, books, reading books that you can enjoy. And secondly, we have visiting with us from Guadeloupe, our district governor. And uh, she is our governor and she foresee, oversees uh, many islands from St. Kitts right down to French Guyana. And she's visiting with us for these few days. And she is also, one of her goals for this year is literacy. And she's also passionate about that. And so she's very happy to be here with us. And today, morning, we, morning. Morning. Good morning. today we have uh, two boxes of uh, novels that we like to share with you. We think literacy is very important. It can open your mind. When I was in school, my teacher used to say, you can travel the world just by reading. And the exciting thing is that you can open it over and open it open again and again and read it over and over and you enjoy and you um, feel good about uh, just being relaxed. And uh, for you, you all look like all strong men. And uh, reading, um, reading books can do to your mind, similar to what uh, your body needs in terms of exercise as well. Okay, um, we're going to have just a few words from our dist um, district governor and then we just do our official presentation to Her Majesty's prison. As you see, I'm French. I come from Guadeloupe, so uh, it's a pleasure for me to, to be here with you because uh, as the president say, um, literacy is very something important for me. Uh, for me, it's a base, and I remember when, when I was young, uh, I waiting each month that my parents bought me a book, because books, it's a, it's a way to, to travel. I don't know what the reason you are here, but I think that you need to travel too. So it, it's really a pleasure to, to, to offer you all these books uh, to travel. Thank you. Good right, morning again, everyone. Um, you know, really, thanks for having us today. And it's really a part of us connecting with um, the community at large. We started this book drive about two, two and a half years ago. And the books that we distributed, we actually have a 40 foot container. So we started to distribute to schools across the island. But of course, you know, when we look at, you know, closest to us right here, we saw that this was also a great opportunity. As I look around the room, I'm, I'm seeing so much positive things mentally. I'm also looking at the timetables and I'm seeing, you know, Spanish and math and English. And of course, you know, once you develop in these areas or continue to develop, it makes the whole art of, of reading books um, that much more meaningful. So I'm encouraging you. Um, you know, it, it's all good when we bring the books, but use them. You know, that, that's where the real effect comes in. And there's so much value um, that books can add in terms of the experiences that persons have gone through, 
and what it has made them. It can help us to become better persons. Um, so thanks for, again, having us. And I'm encouraging you to take the time to read the books. Um, there are many of them. We just have four here now in terms of display. But it's quite a bit. And if, if there's need for more, we'll have uh, more dialogue and we can provide some more books as well. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Lightbiga, we would like to present Her Majesty's Prison with uh, um, these novels. And as uh, Past President Chad and District Governor said, we hope that they do enjoy the novels. And if there is any need to have additional novels, we are also welcome to uh, partner with Her Majesty's Prison on delivery of this as well. King's Justice. <laughs> On behalf of the superintendent, staff, and residents of this institution, I would like to extend my sincerest appreciation to the members of the Rotary Club for the heartfelt contribution to this institution that aims at developing those here. I hope that we can build upon relationship and create a network of mutuality, mutuality that foster development on both sides. Once again, I say thanks for donating these books. Coming out the heels of um, Principal Officer Miss Hobart, I would like to say thanks again to um, the members of the Rotary Club of La Amiga for donating um, these books for us. We know how important it is for one to keep reading. You develop the mind, one the scope of thinking. And so we're going to make good use of them here. We read a lot here at the city, city classroom. We have a lot of stuff going on here. So, another guys here in the class will also um, make good use of them as well. Too. So, thank you again for coming to us. I would like to express our gratitude for the literary books. We ask if in the future if you could donate more educational books, we'd be rather grateful. Okay, thanks. Well, that's uh, fine. Thanks again. Come in and donate in these books, and I wish that we see you all in the future again. <laughs>